Okay, in this video we're going to cover the RFC 2544 test. To access that you do it just as you would uh, multi-stream. We're going to start with select test and the next one down is RFC 2544 so we'll tap on RFC 2544 and there is a little difference for frame configuration here um, and your screen's a little different. So first thing we're going to start with is frame config. When I tap on frame config because uh, RC2544 depends on how what type of standard stream sizes you want to test. When I press the select frame size now, notice that it's a drop down menu, it looks very similar, but emix and custom size is gone now because what we're able to do is select particular frames that we want to run. If we run to run all frames, you just tap on each one to configure them. And then when you're done, just go ahead and tap on the frame size again and that menu will close and show you what frame size you've selected. Setup is the same as far as VLAN, MPLS, all those settings you can set. When we come back over again, um, now on the main screen you have three tabs, throughput, latency and jitter, and back to back. And an on off button. So by default we turn on throughput and frame loss and you can turn that off if you want to do just a frame loss or excuse me just a back to back test you could turn that off and go to back to back and run just the back to back latency and, latency and jitter requires throughput and frame loss so by default that'll be on when you do that type of test so let me go ahead and turn this back on again uh, your duration you can set for any duration that you want in this case I'm going to change this to be three seconds so that way we run it a little quicker So we'll make that three seconds. Now your rate can be set at percent, megabits, kilobits, gigabits, um, but your max is the maximum line rate that you want to run at. So in this case, we're saying test to 100% of the physical line rate. Our minimum is 40%. You can make these any uh, combination that you want. Say if you know that your network will not support 100% line rate, well then you can set it say 90 or 80 and that tells the tester don't bother trying to go to 100% it's going to fail anyway start at 80 or 90 or whatever you set there and then go down from there now your minimum is your minimum passing threshold so whatever you put in there by default we're 40% if it gets down to 40% and it cannot get any frames through without any loss then it's going to stop the test and consider it a fail for throughput and frame loss and flag it as such Steps is the resolution. So let's say we're at 100% now. If it fails at 100% and it fails at that level, the steps is how far will it back down? So it will go from 100 to 90 to 80 to 70, all the way down to 40, trying to find a rate that will allow throughput without any frame loss. The next tab when I do latency and jitter is when we turn this on then you have how many trials do you want to do by default latency is uh, 20 iterations for the full RC 2544 test but that takes about seven hours to do properly so most folks will only do one or two trials. so in this case I'm gonna put in one so that it runs much faster and then say done we're done there and then we'll move over to back to back so back to back now back to back you'll notice has its own separate frame config as well for back to back um, you can actually select different frame sizes different from throughput and uh, frame loss so I'll tap on frame, uh, frame config here and you'll notice you won't be able to change any of the destination source or anything like that but you can select which frames do you want to run so in this case let's say we only want to run the largest and the smallest and then we're done now we can say OK, and we're back to where we were, and the trials and the duration. So for duration, I'm going to change this to be three seconds as well, so it runs a little faster. Say done. And we need to turn on back to back so it actually runs that test as well. So there we go. Now. You can start the test from back to back, latency and jitter, throughput, doesn't matter. You don't have to go back. So in this case, I'm going to put in a test ID of RFC. Say done. 
And now we're going to go ahead and start the test. As the test runs, you'll get a percent complete for each one of the tests. You'll notice this will go back to 0% and run it over again as it's running each frame size throughput latency. Um, through the magic of TV, we're going to go ahead and fast forward here and then show you the test results when it completes. Okay, so what we can see now is our test has completed. Our test results have been popped up. We're looking at the results for 64 byte frame size. I can look at my graph as well for my frame sizes. So that'll bring up the graph view for the throughput. And here you can see your throughput and latency uh, in percent, frames per second, megabits per second uh, for throughput, for frame loss, latency and jitter, and back to back. So obviously we didn't take any frame loss, latency and jitter, that's our latency and our jitter, very low jitter, and then back to back and for the one frame size that we ran. So that's how you actually run an RC2544 test. Very simple, very fast. Uh, if you have any questions, you can refer back to this video as far as the setup. It takes a little longer than other tests because of the configuration for throughput frame loss back to back. So if we'll stop here, we're going to move on to the next video, which is Y.1564.